Hello lovely people. Today I'm reviewing uh, a planner created by Fran Nerd, a famous YouTuber and illustrator. As soon as I heard that she was releasing this, I jumped on it because I absolutely love everything that she creates. I've never really bought anything off Etsy before um, I discovered her, so it was a bit of a risk for me, but I was definitely 100% not disappointed. Um, a planner is a weird thing. I normally own about three or four sketchbooks, but I don't really have planners, so I was a bit wary. But I got a new job. I needed to get a lot more organized. It was almost a new year, so I thought perfect timing. So, what are the pros of this thing? Well, obviously, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. All the little designs, the little characters, and oh, the color scheme. Guys, the color scheme. So many pastels. Biggest and best thing for me was the fact that you got stickers in the pack with it. And not just a few, you got like four sheets of um, lovely stickers, all varying in the types of uh, stickers they were, um, things to put on to help you plan things for the week, just silly little pictures. My particular favourite is a little uh, lady in a mug. So that was a real, real plus. I absolutely loved the uh, blank spaces in the planner and the fact there was no lines. For me, I like to draw, I like to scribble. You'll see later when I show you my current planner and what I've done to this poor thing, but it's as if a spider has run across it. So I need lots of blank space to fill up. What else? Oh, and the bag. Okay, guys, this thing comes in a little bag and I saw it advertised by Fran when she was releasing it and I thought, oh, that's nice, a dust bag. So what's that going to do? Oh my goodness, I love this bag. I take it everywhere. It's got a pen inside it as well, and I just keep it in there, and it keeps everything together. I put my sketchbook in it too, and I love it. I don't think I'll ever be able to go back now and not have my planner in a little bag. And one of the loveliest things is the fact that this planner is completely ethical. Fran has made it so that everything is sourced from goods resources, and it's a little. It is a little bit expensive, and that would probably be in my con list. Is that for me, who doesn't really buy planners, this this is on the pricey side. This was £30, but I am absolutely in love with it, so I would definitely buy another one if she released it, and I would recommend it for people. What would uh, be my cons? I would love more notes pages. When I use my planner, a lot of the time it's just to keep lists, and not specific day-to-day -day lists. It'll just be like things to achieve, or things I want to create, or not notes to jot down of what sketches I'd like to do and it's hard for me to keep track of it if I'm putting it in certain days so what I would absolutely love is at the back there's about three or four notes pages which I've already filled so if I could have more notes pages even if it's sacrificed more of the fun vouchers and things if I could have more notes pages that would be amazing oh and something else that would be amazing as well is the fact that I'm saying amazing a lot aren't I so you get a ribbon, a lovely ribbon that helps you divide everything. But because this planner does so much, because it does notes and it does day-by-day uh, -day plans and it does a monthly plan, it would be amazing, uh, it would be fantastic to have two or maybe even three ribbons that I could just divide it off. And I know then that the blue ribbon would be my days of the week, my, blue, my red ribbon would be my notes, and that would be really, really helpful. Um, yeah, I love this planner. It's a great way to kick off the new year. I have some New Year's resolutions written in the back. Whether I'll stick to them or not will be another video. But um, I would 100% recommend getting this. It doesn't have any specific days in it, so you can get it right now. You could get it in six months and it would still not be out of date. Um, am I tempted to buy another one just in case that she doesn't sell them next year? 100%. Will I? Probably not. I'll probably save that money and buy some zines or um, some more Etsy goodies. But yeah, happy new year, guys. Let's get organized.